Hi, Barbara people. Allison J. Waldman here. Allie Waldman, ready for your Sunday with Allie. Barbara Streisand video cast. Today is May 20th, 2012. And let's start with what I consider the biggest news of the week, at least for me. The uh, Kickstarter uh, Barbara Memories Project reached its funding which is fantastic. That means the book is definitely a go. That means that come, you know, October, when we go to see Barbara in Brooklyn, and I will be there, and I'm sure you'll be there too. I hope you'll be there too. Uh, I am going to have the book in hand with all of our thank yous and all of our tributes and anecdotes and stories about how we became Barbara Streisand fans will be in the book gorgeously packaged, beautifully arranged, wonderfully done, and, and great and great stories. And we're going to give it directly to Barbara as a 50th anniversary gift. And I am like super, super psyched. And I, I, the best news, the best part of all this is we still have 10 more days to go on kickstarter.com. That means 10 more days that you guys have a chance to get involved. Now, I want to thank everybody Everybody who's pledged, everybody who's, whether, you know, like I said, what I got a pledge this week for $3 from somebody. Is that great or what? I also got a pledge this week for $1,000 from a wonderful couple in Holland, and I thank them profusely. So you see, the bigger the budget, the better the book. It's as simple as that. Better production values, more I can do as far as promoting it afterwards to get this book sold, because we want this book sold around the world. We want everybody to know that Barbara Streisand has the best fans in the world. And not only does Barbara have the best fans in the world, but I got a testimonial this week from somebody who works closely with Barbara, somebody who we all know and recognize from her concerts. I can't tell you his name because I promised not to. But he told me, in no uncertain terms, that Barbara Streisand has the best fans in the world. And this book is going to prove it. So... If you haven't pledged yet, if you haven't gone to Kickstarter yet, please, we have, like I said, just between nine or ten days left, May 30th is the cutoff, please go to the site, make a pledge. Everybody, even the smallest pledge gets a discount on the, buying the book, but if you pledge at the, at the level where you can get an acknowledgement in the, in the book, my idea for the acknowledgement page is not just a list of people who participated. I want to try to make the acknowledgement page something really great, something that Barbara will see all these people and be able to relate to who they are, whether it's where you come from, what your age is, you know, maybe, you know, we'll, we'll sprinkle in a few photographs. The point is, the acknowledgement page is not just going to be a list. So if you get involved, if you pledge, if you pledge to be in the acknowledgements, you're going to be in the book in a good way. So, and by the way, just to clarify, you do not have to pledge if you've got a great story. I'm not making that a caveat. So if you have a great story but you can't afford to pledge right now, financially you're strapped, that's okay. Send me your story, tell me your story, and if it's, you know, a great story like you believe it is, we'll put it in the book. You know, there's the, the point is, like I said, the bigger the budget, the better the book. I was thinking maybe we put in 100 stories, maybe 120 stories. If we can go bigger, great. Oh, great. So that's why I'm really, really enthusiastic. Now, uh, that's the Kickstarter story. And I think you guys know, uh, I, I've shown you in the past how to get there. Do we have the paper here? Yes, here. Here is one last time the Kickstarter. Wait, let's turn it right to the there is the Kickstarter address, and please, if you are all interested, please take part. Now, I actually made a list, so I won't forget anything I want to say today. Uh, on a sad note, I was really, really shocked, and I'm sure you guys were too, to learn about Donna Summer dying this past week. And, uh, you know, Barbara was, I'm so happy that Barbara issued a statement I think it came directly from the heart. I think she really was very, very sad that somebody who she'd worked with uh, and enjoyed working with and had seen just very recently in the last year uh, passed away so young, only 63 years old. 
uh, from lung cancer. Now, uh, that's, that hits me very, very close to home. I don't have lung cancer. I have another form of cancer. Uh, I am fighting it. I go to monthly chemotherapy. As a matter of fact, I have to go this week to chemotherapy. And I'm very, very grateful that uh, the chemo seems to be working. I'm so, so sorry that it didn't work for Donna. I really, really am. I mean, I think that's just, it's just heartbreaking. She was a wonderful singer, great vocalist, vocalist, wonderful. I, lo I love her music. I, I was not a big, you know, Donna Summer fan. I didn't have all the albums. But when I'm, on, when I'm listening to the radio and I hear Last Dance or, you know, Love to Love You Baby or any of her hits, you know, Beep Beep on the radio, I love all that stuff. Bad Girls, great song. So uh, she will be missed. She will be missed. And again, as I've told you, and I, and I hate, I, I don't mean to underscore this, but I, I feel like I must. It's another reason why Barbara Memories is so important. We need to tell Barbara now that we love her and we are grateful for what she's given us. And that's what Barbara Memories can do. Let's not wait like Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston and sadly now Donna Summer that fans are coming out of the woodwork to say how much they loved and adored her. Let's tell Barbara now, okay? All right, enough of that. Uh, now, you might have seen earlier this week, there was a story about Barbara's Sony contract and her doing a duets album and maybe singing with Rihanna and Adele, yada, yada, yada. Well, all I can tell you guys is take it with a big grain of salt. It's like this much of it is true. This much. Uh, the bit about Adele, that could be true. The business about Rihanna, no, don't, don't, don't think so, don't think so. But uh, Barbara's duets album, I don't think we're going to see it anytime soon, guys. Uh, there's possibly going to be the uh, Just Release Me project coming out around, you know, September, October, then Barbara's got the Brooklyn concerts, then the Brooklyn concerts are probably going to come out as a CD in 2013. I think duets may not be till 2014. So don't start making, you know, plans on who's going to be on the album, because I think that's in the distance. Now, tomorrow, very, very important for anybody who has not gotten tickets to Brooklyn yet, tomorrow is the public sale. It starts tomorrow, May 21st at 10 a.m., be prepared to go online on your computer for at least an hour. It takes that long to get through. I managed to get one ticket for the for the October 11th concert. It's my just in case ticket because I just want to make sure that I'm there. <laughs> and if I can get a better ticket later on, I will. But if you go online tomorrow, please, please, please be patient. Don't complain. Don't fetch. Just Accept the fact that you're going to need to be on for about an hour. You're going to need to keep plugging in those numbers. You know, they keep on making you go through that CAPTCHA system. It's a pain in the neck. But just be patient because you do want to be there. Now, I realize there are many, many people who have told me that they would love to go to Brooklyn, but they either can't afford it or it's too far away. It's not a good time for them. I understand. I really do. And if you can't be there, it's all right. Don't kill yourself. It doesn't mean you're any less a fan. Basically, though, just count on this. There will probably be a DVD. There could be a TV special. Uh, I'd say there's definitely going to be a CD. So you're not going to really miss the whole show. Of course, everybody would love to be there, but there are limitations. I mean, I just heard from a friend of mine, Rob, who lives in Australia. And Rob basically said, you know, I'd love to go, but I can't. So actually, he asked me if I would buy him a program and make sure that I send it to him and he'll send me the money. So Rob will be there in spirit. But there are other people too. You know, Mona can't make it this time. Some other people can't make it. But, you know, do the best you can. If you can, you can. If you can't, you can't. But it's going to be terrific. And as I, you know, as I look at it, if you can and you don't do it, you're going to regret it because this is going to be a great show. I just think the whole Brooklyn idea is going to come, is, going to, is filled with so many opportunities for Barbara to sing interesting songs, to get nostalgic, to share the stage. You know, who 
who's to say that she won't ask a fellow Erasmus Hall high grad, not he wasn't a graduate, but he was also an Erasmus Hall chorus with her, Neil Diamond. Maybe Neil's going to be there. Maybe they're going to do You Don't Bring Me Flowers. Wouldn't you want to be there to see that? So if you can, if you can afford it, if you have the time, do your best. Go online tomorrow and try to get tickets. Now, let me see what's on the Oh, let's see what's on the list. The Guilt Trip. Just heard that the Guilt Trip is, the buzz is great. Now, I told you last week, moving it to Christmas was a sign that Paramount has a lot of faith in this. I'm hearing even more good stuff about it. Uh, I'm hearing that uh, Barbara, you know, may need to, to, to hold some uh, time available in the uh, winter in February because she may be, you know, needing to go to some awards ceremonies. Uh, I think we can probably count on the Golden Globe nomination. The Golden Globes do love Barbara. <laughs> so, uh, as I said last week, I think I'm repeating myself. I'm repeating myself. I'm repeating myself. So, I think we can really count on some good stuff going on in early spring. And that would be after the Barbara concert, after Guild Trip opens. And, you know, by then she might be starting Gypsy, production on Gypsy. Uh, I have heard... Gypsy is still full steam ahead. They're working on it. There's constant work being done on, on the behind the scenes as far as the people involved. So don't, like my friend Morrow on the Mark Barber message board was all worried. He was saying this is turning into a soap opera. So I had to let him know it's not a soap opera. It's going to happen. It's going to be a very, very exciting project. It's Barbara's really gearing this one up, guys. This is going to be a big, big event. And I think she wants to do justice to Gypsy, justice to Arthur Lawrence's faith in her. She's going to be working with Stephen Sondheim again. And don't be confused. Stephen Sondheim is going to be involved in this. He is the last connection to the Gypsy score. And while I agree with, with Matt, how Barbara Archives, I don't think they're going to be adding any new songs. Uh, Stephen Sondheim, if there's a song that... Julie Stein had written or a trunk song or something that they could work in to give Barbara another song, they might do it. They might do it. But Stephen Sondheim is not going to, you know, get involved unless this is a quality, quality production. So that's the good news on Gypsy. Now, other information. Barbara Archives, since Matt, I, I just mentioned Matt's name, congratulations, Matt, on your ninth anniversary for the Barbara Archives, which is the a wonderful Barbara Streisand encyclopedia online, a great site. I will have more news on my new website coming up. I just, I'm doing the final little tweaks on it, but probably in the next two, maybe a week, maybe two, I'll be able to announce it and you guys will be able to start visiting it, okay? Finally, you heard about the uh, Barbara fundraiser with Bill Clinton coming up in June. They're going to be, uh, they're auctioning off an invitation. The tickets are very, I mean, it's going to be an expensive <laughs> occasion because it's a very, very exclusive dinner. Only 200 guests at Barbara's home. Barbara and Josh, Barbara's going to be singing. Josh Groban's going to be singing. Uh, there's going to be other, uh, I think Martin Short has been announced as the uh, entertain, you know, as the MC for the night. And you know how funny he is. So um, that's going to be quite an exclusive little party, but it's all for a very, very good cause. Barbara is determined to put as much money as possible into the Cedar sinais women, Women's Heart Center. And it's a very, very good cause, and she's really done a great job for that. You know, she put in originally $5 million of her own money, and now she's looking to raise another $5 million, and I think she's close. I think she's almost reached her $10 million goal, which, you know, bravo, Barbara. Good work getting out the message about women's heart problems and that we need to have more research and more dedication to helping to cure and, and take care of women's hearts because women's physiology is not the same as men, as Barbara says. So it's 425, 1425. I have to wrap up before 15 minutes. I hope you have a great week. I'm looking forward to having a great week. Everybody, please, if you didn't do Kickstarter, Please do it this week. Like I said, we have till May 30th. I will be back next Sunday, which will be May 27th. I'll give you one last shot at it then. Until then, this is Allie Waldron, your Barbara Streisand guru, 
online. And I hope you have a great week, and I'll see you next week. And good luck getting those tickets tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye.